like known uh, James Brown impersonator, this guy Frederick Douglass. Um, I started, you know, doing such defiant acts as wearing this Malcolm X t-shirt on campus. Um, I uh, started, uh, I watched every uh, Spike Lee movie, um, and, uh, and then I end up graduating. Um, just gonna leave it up here for you guys to look at little Nagin. Um, and uh, I end up graduating um, from college and going to, uh, um, moving down to New York City, uh, where I end up applying to Columbia for the, for their program in African American Studies with a dual uh, secondary master's degree in, um, in public policy, because <laughs> I really wanted to just have a bunch of degrees and then turn into a comedian. But, um, <laughs> but uh, and, and when I went to uh, this program, you know, like I said, I was the only Iranian American person in the program, very shockingly. And um, people would be like, what are you doing here? Like, don't you have your, uh, like, what it, like, what's your deal? And I'd be like, I can't believe you would say that. I would fight for African American rights whenever and wherever. Like, I want to be, uh, uh, I'm gonna legally change my name to Tyler Perry Presents Nagin Farsad. Um, <laughs> and, and I really believe in the struggle, and I did, and it was real, and it was earnest. Um, and they were just like, yeah, why would you do all of those things? It's pretty weird. Could you not do those things? Don't you have your own people? And that's when it kind of hit me like a ton of bricks that I'm neither Mexican nor black. And I did, in fact, have my own people. And this was in the aftermath of 9-11, where maybe even my people needed me more. Um, and so the problem was, in terms of like identifying with my own people, was that I didn't, you know, the, the icons that were being like perpetuated throughout the media for like my people were involved ladies that looked like this, right? With just floating eyeballs or whatever. Um, there was these like dusty dudes that hang out in the desert with AK-47s. Um, and if you're uh, Iranian, there's a really especially fun element um, of the um, iconography, literally an element a uh, uranium uh, because everyone talked about how we were constantly enriching uranium, um, you know, and it's so fun. It's just funny to me to the point where people are like, you know, uh, like, uh, what do you want to do? Like, or, what, you want to hang out unless you're busy enriching uranium, you know? And I, uh, you know, and it just like I live in a typically uh, small Manhattan apartment, so I don't know where I would keep a nuclear particle accelerator, you know. Uh, I don't even have enough room for my minorly even Cambodian, minorly evil Cambodian child trafficking ring. So um, I don't know where I would, you know what I mean. At a certain point, uh, evil is a question of uh, square footage, but. Um